Hey guys, Trim Keto Mama here. I'm going to take a little different approach to today's video and I'm not going to talk about food and I'm not going to talk about supplements. I am going to talk about self-care. Guys, I found a, a new passion for self-care because of a personal experience that I'm going through and I wanted to share a little bit about it today with you. So maybe you can relate, maybe you can't, but what I'll tell you is this, you know, coming off of Mother's Day, I'm realizing how much, and I've known for a long time, but really if you sit back and think, how much do mothers do for not only their kids, their spouse, their their mothers, their parents, their siblings, their coworkers, their job, like the list goes on and on and on and on. And I feel like God created us to be pretty amazing people. Although men, you're incredible too if you're watching this. You have your own set of skills. But what I'll tell you about a woman is that we are just by nature caretakers. We just naturally love to help people and care for people. But you know what is one thing that we don't do enough of because we're focused on helping so many others is we're not taking care of ourselves in so many ways. Yes, I probably have some people watching that you do take great care of your, your body and your mind and your spirit. Maybe you do those things really, really well and you've prioritized yourself in your list. I'm talking about the other 90% of women that I believe don't do this, myself included. So I wanna to talk to you about the newfound passion I have for self-care. What are some things I do for self-care? Because sometimes they're just super simple things that take two to five minutes, 10 minutes. It's not a lot of time, but you do have to be very intentional about it, mindful about it. You guys hear me use those words a lot because it's so true. When you learn to be mindful, it's incredible um, what can change in your life. Mindful about the words you speak, the things you think, the actions you take, the way you respond to people, People, what you pour into yourself, food and words and everything. It's absolutely incredible what can change in your life when you're mindful. So I'm going to talk about self-care. One of the things that I love is I just love going and sitting on my deck. I actually have a, a video on my Facebook with uh, Lacey Carell. You can go find me and follow me on Facebook if you'd like. Just sitting on my deck, guys, and just soaking in five minutes of sunshine. It's incredible what that does for your mood. It's incredible what it does for your outlook on the day, how you feel. Just letting the warmth hit your skin and the sun hit you. It's just incredible what it does for your mind and your body. Um, you know, everyone could use a little extra vitamin D in their life. And I'm telling you, that's one of the ways I practice self-care. When I'm doing that act of self-care, typically... I'm quiet besides my dogs barking or the birds chirping or things I hear in the nature, the wind blowing. It Just be in tune to your senses. Listen to nature. Listen to the sound of your heartbeat or feel your pulse as you feel your, your body working and you're just sitting in peace and tranquility. Guys, it sounds so hokey. I get it. It sounds so hokey, but it works. What if you did that for two to five minutes a day when it's sunny outside? What that may do for you? Like, just try it. If you're not in a good place mentally, try something else. Don't keep doing what you're doing. Another act of practicing self-care that I do is reading. I'm going to show you some of the things that I do for reading. And I've read, I'm not a huge reader, I'll be honest. And some of these books I'm going to show you, I actually have listened to on Audible versus actually reading. But find out how you, you probably know by now if you're an adult, how you learn best, like through school. Did you have to read to yourself out loud? Did you do better reading to yourself quietly? Did do you have to hear things and see them? That's how I am. I need to see them and hear them. That's why I have books like GoPro that I actually have the physical copy, but I listen to it. So I don't actually... I am reading it, but I'm listening to it and following along, and that's how I consume a lot of my books. Uh, so for me, it costs me twice as much to read a book and really absorb it because I need to see it and hear it. So if you're like, I can read a book out loud or to myself, then purchase the book. Or if you're like, I am all about audio, um, Audible will be your friend. I have a monthly subscription and I get a book every single month. And of course, you can get more than one a month. But you know, just in taking one book a month is going to be powerful for you. And not only just your personal life, but your work life, your business, if you own a business, it's absolutely incredible. So books like GoPro, I'm also a Christian woman and I'm not pushing my faith off on anybody, but I read books like Hope in the Dark. Guys, whether you're a Christian or not, this is a phenomenal book by Pastor uh, Craig Rochelle. He is my pastor. I love Life Church, but um, 
reading this book, whether you're a Christian or not, everyone gets to this place at some point in their life, whether it's through life experiences or uh, circumstances or in your mind and you've got this facade on the outside, like you're just happy, 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 but you're in a dark place. There is hope in the dark, and this is an incredible book. I actually did read this one. I don't think it's on Audible. It may be now because I've had this for about a year, but Hope in the Dark is a great book. Um, I have several books that I haven't brought out today, but um, I talk about books a lot on my Facebook if you want to follow me on there. Um, emotional intelligence, guys, this is something that I struggle with a lot. So self-motivation and the power of your thoughts and all of these kinds of things. This one's kind of a boring read. I'm just going to be honest. It's kind of a boring read, but I'll tell you is it's better to listen on this one, uh, but it's powerful. And guys, this book has been around a really long time and there's a workbook when you purchase the books that you can get with this as well. So this is powerful. I'm also going to start a book on manifestation. Although I am a Christian woman, I do believe there's power in our thoughts and our actions and and the energy you're putting out is the energy you're going to get back. And so I'm getting ready to start a book on manifestation as well. It's actually a workbook that I'm going to do with a few friends. If you're watching this and you would like to do it, comment below and I'll get you the details on how to get the book. I think I just got mine on Amazon. I also do a daily devotional. And you guys, I also use a YouVersion Bible app. If you don't have the Bible app, it's phenomenal. You can do, you can add me as a friend if you want. You can um, do a physical um, devotional. I really like the Sarah Young Jesus is Calling because it's an easy read. Um, these literally take about two minutes and it gives you a couple of scriptures to look up that goes along with the, the devotional. So this is really a powerful tool if you're a Christian and you're looking for something daily. Um, the other thing I'm finding for self care is journaling. Guys, I'm not a writer and I'm also not one that can just fluidly take pen to paper and just write pages upon pages of my thoughts and my feelings. And, and that's not something that I have a strength in maybe one day, but not right now. I love this journal because it's literally this amount right here per day. And so this is actually five years worth of journaling. So what you're going to do is so when December 5th rolls around this year, I'm going to put 2019 right there. I'm going to write my journal for the day there. And then when I roll around to this day in 2020, I'm going to write a 20 right there and write my journal for that day. What's kind of cool is you can reflect on the year prior as you go through your year. So this is five years worth of journaling and it's just a tiny little paragraph. Today I chose to do a gratitude list. I'll be happy to read it to you. So um, today I am so grateful for starting to feel better and more energized. So I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I'm also grateful for the man that God gave me as my husband. Uh, I'm grateful for our three amazing children. I was actually just talking to my husband yesterday about my kids are eight or they're nine. So I can't keep track nine, seven and six. And we're at such a fun stage. We have some bickering going on and, and things like that, but we're at such a fun age where we can go and we can do a lot of fun things. And they're just a, at a really fun age. And I told my husband, I said, you know, it's just right around the corner because like our oldest is nine. I'm like, where did the time go? Right. She's going to be starting fourth grade. And and I'm like, it's not going to be that long until they're like 16 and have a car and they're going to be going and doing their own thing to an extent. Obviously, there's boundaries, but it's like. They're getting to that. I couldn't wait for them to be independent when they were one, two, and three, right? Like I couldn't wait for the independence. And now I'm like, I'm glad they're independent. I am so grateful they're independent. But at the same time, they need us less and less and less as parents in certain areas and more in other areas, right? Guidance and things like that. Um, relationships and all that kind of stuff. And so I was like, I just can't imagine what my life's going to be like when the kids are grown, you know, 16 and 18 and 20 and when they're not here and, and my life's not so crazy busy all the time. I just, I thrive in that environment, but it kind of breaks a mom and down too. So if you're listening to this and you have little, little kids, just know you'll miss those days one day. And I don't miss the tiny, tiny age, but I miss like the threes and the fours. I know they're terrible sometimes, but they have their perks. Um, so I'm grateful for our three amazing kids. I'm also grateful for the inner strength that God has given me. And I'm grateful for the friendships. Although I have few strong friendships, they are so strong and powerful. And I have a core group of people that I can reach out to for, for guidance and for advice and just, just to laugh together and maybe drink a glass of wine together and maybe coffee. I don't know. Like it's just 
you don't have to have 25 friends to fit in. Like I have a core like three to five friends, some are local, some are not local. And I know that I can lean on them and I'm just grateful for those friendships. And so um, that is my gratitude list for today. So next year on May 12th, when it comes back around, I'll be able to reflect on that. And I just think journaling can be really powerful and I'm very inconsistent right now, but this is something that I'm working on for self-care. So why is there a newfound, I wanna wrap this up, but why is there a newfound passion for self-care. Well, guys, when you, mamas especially, when and women, when you put yourself this far down on the list and all these things come before you, um, your body will start to tell you that. And so my body started telling me that a few months ago. I just didn't know what was going on. I just thought it was a season. And although it is a season, um, guys, look up your adrenals. I'm stage three re adrenal burnout. And basically what that means is my body said, you need to slow down. You need to take some time for yourself. You need to nap when you need to nap and you need to take care of yourself. And that can be in a lot of different areas. Guys, I've eaten the best I have in a long time, but there's other factors that come into play. Mental factors, stress. My, my stress is all normal stuff. It's a husband with the crazy work schedule. It's three kids. It's breaking up fights constantly it's it's the hustle and bustle of running a business and a family and keeping my house to somewhat look like a tornado didn't blow through it like there's a lot of factors and my body said hold up Lacey you need to slow down and you need to take care of yourself and so that's what I'm starting to do with with just taking five minutes to sit on the deck in the sunshine little things like that get unplugged a little bit from my phone guys I think most of us are addicted to our phones in some way or another and I'm definitely no um, I'm not, you know, excluded from that. I'm definitely a part of that as well. We're so connected, yet we're so disconnected. We're so connected on things like YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all these great ways to stay connected, but we're not staying connected in ways that we need to. We really need to stay connected and grounded to ourselves as well and just take care of ourselves. So with that being said, I am feeling so much better by slowing down a little bit, by taking some time for myself with reading, with self-care, with you know taking a warm bubble bath at night when normally I would just stay hooked up on social media or watch TV until I went to bed and just slow down a little bit. You know, it's okay. It's okay to put yourself higher on that list. If you're not mentally and physically healthy, how mentally and physically healthy are your children, your husband, your relationships? They're just not. They're just not going to be healthy because you're not healthy. And um, anyway, that's some food for thought. I had that on my heart. I wanted to share. I know it has nothing to do with keto. It has nothing to do with supplements. It has nothing to do with the stuff I normally talk about, but it was in my heart. I wanted to share. Please get connected. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook with Lacey Carell, or you can go to the Trim Keto Mama Facebook group if you want some fun recipes. You can also go to TrimKetoMama.com. I have a website with lots of resources and links uh, to YouTube and all those kinds of things. And be sure you subscribe to the Trim Keto Mama channel. Um, more to come, guys. More to come. And I love feedback. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you got value out of this video. It's going to be about 15 minutes long, which is longer than most of my videos. But if you got value and you want to um, see more, then make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get uh, more like notifications whenever I do another video. So with that being said, guys, have a phenomenal, phenomenal day. And Trim Keto Mama is out, guys. Bye.